Today I'm going to be making stuffed mushrooms, but they're going to be gluten free. Uh, I'm going to also be making a batch of regular ones. So here's my base. I'm also going to be adding a little bit of almond flour too. Now here's the thing. Any gluten free breadcrumbs I've tried have been very bland. So I add all my own seasoning. I got oregano, Italian seasoning, parsley, um, basil. Now my garlic powder is the biggest container ever. And onion powder. So we're gonna season it. Um, so I will show you what this looks like. I added about three regular teaspoons of almond flour. And I used about half a, uh, half a container of breadcrumbs in here. And I'm just going to use a container that I could tightly conceal that I could shake up later. So this is my basil. And I just keep on shaking it until I think there is enough. So this is going to be a while. And I do that with all the seasoning. So there's probably going to be about somewhere between one eighth to one fourth of a teaspoon of basil in here. And I do that with the oregano and the Italian seasoning as well. I did one eighth of a teaspoon of parsley. Now I'm gonna add the garlic powder. Now I add more garlic powder. and then onion powder. You want these breadcrumbs to be full of flavor. Okay, and then I'm gonna seal the container and give it lots of shaking. After I gave that all a good shake, I'm gonna add uh, either Parmesan cheese or peppercorn uh, Romano. And you want to get it incorporated all over. So I just do like a layer and same deal. You shake it all up again. And you just want all these breadcrumbs full of flavor. That should be enough. I just added three pinches of pepper. And now I diced up. This is actually two onions in here, but I'm only gonna use maybe about a half to a third in the gluten-free mixture. So I'm gonna mix that in. So it looks like I used about half, so that's about one onion, because that looks about right. And then I'm gonna add about, I wanna say, full teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of minced garlic. So let's see, this is about almost a teaspoon. So let's do two of those. Okay, we're gonna give that a good mix and then we're gonna add extra virgin olive oil to turn it into crumbs. This is my extra virgin olive oil. So for me, this is more of a texture thing. So I just start pouring it and then I'm gonna start mixing it together and see what texture that is. So that's about a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. And you're gonna just start mixing that all together because this is going to be a breadcrumb mixture for stuffed mushrooms or whatever you wanna stuff. And if you need, you could always add more so I always start out with less. You want it to look something like this, where it starts sticking. I mean, it's not as good as regular breadcrumbs. It doesn't stick as much. I ended up using a full cup of extra virgin olive oil. I had to open up my second bottle. So here we go. And this is what is going to go into our stuffed mushrooms. So I'm gonna put these in the fridge all these wait to set and I'm going to wash and dry my mushrooms next. I cleaned and 
took the insides out of my mushrooms. I sprayed down my pan and I'm just going, might be easier to put a couple in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill them up and then after that, I'm gonna bake them. Oh, I after I do this, I'm gonna sprinkle more Parmesan cheese and then a little bit more onion powder on top. This is what a full half tray of mushrooms looks like. And I'm just gonna sprinkle more onion powder on. Just a little. Just add a little bit more flavor. And then a little bit more Parmesan cheese. just want flavor in every bite. You're gonna bake these at 400 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes.